Okay. I'm Salman Ibnus, so I'm the only member of this group. So it's my AI final web project. So I have used a mushroom data set here, which I got from Kaggle. So basically this we can let's see the data set so we can there's some characters variables in various common so this data set can be used to classify mushroom as poisonous or edible so you can see in this data set there are specific characters for each column so we talk about this in detail so here each character in this data set has some meaning so for different mushroom, mushroom cap shape, B, is, B means bell, conical means C, convex goes to X. So in this way, different properties of the mushroom is generated with different characters of alphabets or alphabets in the data set. So like cap color is orange, so this is denoted by G. In this way, other colors like pink is P, and similarly, all of these features are denoted with some characters. So firstly, this I have uploaded the data set in Google Colab. So I have now since I have up already uploaded. So this I have uh, commented out this part. So then I use up imported some libraries like pandas, Seaborn, Matplotlib, Plotly, etc. So this line actually loads the data set. So using pandas we got read underscore csv so let's see what's there in the data sets so i have uh, printed the first 10 values of the data set so it has class cap shape cap surface cap color so all about mushroom loses order in mushroom a lot of information like mushroom stock color mushroom pop population from Different population and habitat from which they're collected. So each this U G these are all different habitats or different population of mushroom. So we can use this data set to classify different like the mushroom is poisonous or eligible. We can edit information learning models. So so I have then printed the last five values for the last five years. So then I use mush underscore info, which is a, is a panda data frame. There are 8,024 entries and some ranging from 0 to 8, 1 to 3, and then total 23 columns and on nominal objects. So this line gives like for the class column there are two unique values p and e means poisonous are eligible and there are d types for all the columns they are all objects and also shape there are 8124 rows and 23 columns in this data set so i have checked for if there are any null values and for each column the number of null, null values are total number of null values are in the sum function so there are no null values in this data set, as you can see. Similarly, there is no NN values as well. So, the motion underscore describe is used to see the number of unique values, number of count frequencies for each column. As you can see, the class has two unique values, cap shape has six unique values, cap surface has four unique values, and similarly, all the other unique values, frequencies, etc. So as you know that this data set is mainly consist of categorical variables. So we need to use some pre-processing or feature engineering techniques to normalize the labels, to assign some, some 
some numerical values instead of categorical variables. So here we are we will be we are using I've used label encoder class from scikit learn learn. So from SQL under preprocessing input level encoder, then I use the level encoder function. The transform function I saved it in a new variable or list. So mash encoder dot I have first fifteen rows are have printed. So now you can see that all are like numerical values. So what level encoder does is this gives some hierarchical values to all the features. So as you have seen that, for example, cap shape has six unique values. So for cap shape, it has provided for each character or alphabet, it has provided like five different, different numbers ranging from zero to five. As you can see for class, there are two unique values. So for first value, it has provided zero for P, for poisonous and one for eligible. So similarly for there are probably for cap colored, let's see there are four different colors. So if for cap colored, there are 10 different colors. So you can see values from zero to nine. So, nine. so the, in this way, random values is like, it's not random, it's like in a hierarchical way, values are assigned, different values are assigned to different characters. So if we call the max function, we can see that class has the maximum value of one, zero and one, cap shape has maximum value of five, zero to five. Cap surface at maximum value of three, that means is for two different unique values. Cap color has nine, that means maximum number is nine, that means there are 10 values. Steel color must be 12 different colors shown. So, uh, the number maximum number is 11. Also, there is a describe function again called to show the count mean x of this number and what the 75% and 25% of the means what are the values. So then I use the column of the column. So this shows all the features or column name of the data set. Which underscore encoded. So then it comes to visualization. So Mathplot library is used here. And this parameter actually fixes the x axis and y axis size, label size, title sizes. So they are all large. And then the plot function is uh, in the under def plot method. So sns.countplot is used, which basically counts the number of mushroom for different IQ, which is different. For different categories so as you can see poisonous and edible number of poisonous mushrooms and edible mushroom are counted and shown in graphs so mushroom poisonous mushrooms are more similarly shape for shape bell means b conical means c convex means x flat means f as i say already so here again plot minus column is used and u is used as class that means mushroom cap size, number of mushrooms with different cap size are calculated or counted based on that they are poisonous or edible. So the blue bar, bar plot shows the poisonous one and the violet shows the edible ones. So the one with cap shape, cap with conical shape and poisonous are more in number. Also sunken cap shape is more in number for both poisonous and edible. Then you can see mushroom cap color quantity. So red violet blue has more red violet blue mushrooms. Cap color with red violet blue 
function so more in number also you can smash cap surface quantity the different cap surface like groove smooth steady so groove and smooth are more in number and they are also a plot for mushroom order quantity so you can see the creosite as with the creosite order more mushrooms have the creosite so then I have plot wise plot pair wise wise relationship for mushroom stock categorization. So they are defined at stock root, stock surface, above ring, stock below ring. So here regression plot is used based on whether they're poisonous or edible. So the blue line shows where the poisonous one with stock root and the orange one shows the edible one with stock root. So and the regression plot is shown here as so that that they are in relationship with, between the x and y axis. Then I used plotly to visualize like the number of samples. Their values underscore count method is used to count the number of samples with different class. So like there are 2916 uh, poisonous mushrooms and 4208 edible mushrooms. Then I use plotly to plot another graph which shows the mushroom habitat percentage. So they are collected from different habitats like woods, grasses, leaves are one. So more mushrooms are collected from woods than from grasses. From grasses, there are 2148 200, samples are collected. So as you can see, plotly is a very interactive plot. It shows percentage, also the sample number. So I have used plotly because it's a very interesting form of visualization inside the data set. So then histogram plot is used. This time based on cap color and we find like edible based on edible and poisonous they're shown. So this shows class one that means uh, edible with cap color zero and this 71 percent count. This one shows class zero Cap color one around seventy two percent. So down there forty one point six percent. Cap color four. So similarly defined cap color session. This is pretty much interesting graph. So also we can plot using plot like mushroom color quantity. So brown are more so 28.1%, 22.6%, red 18.5%. Similarly, so now we this speed the train and test data. We are using some fit engineering from SLR selection plus. So, so here I have dropped the plus from train data that is in the This data it's here. So it has been dropped from train data, all other features. So this is our class is our target variable. So we'll actually predict the class of mushrooms so that whether the mushroom is poisonous or edible from the features that we will use to train our model. So the first model we I, I'm using is logistic regression classification. So Newton CG solver is used. So and then the trained on in the fit function. Train data is a data are trained using the logistic regression model and the test values are then Printed. So it has a pretty good like test accuracy. So ninety five point zero eight test accuracy also Canon classification is used where hundred percent test accuracy is obtained. 
Raised BM classification also 100 percent. Test accuracy is okay. In my base classification 92.66. For decision tree classification, test accuracy is even 100 percent. So pretty good training. So model has learned quite well. So random forest classifier also 100 percent. So most of them are classifier. Shows 100% accuracy in the test data. It's quite well, so there is no like uh, overfitting or something. Then I've used condition matrix to show that whether there are too much false positive or false negative values. So, basically, for positive regression and for naive bias, the condition matrix. Is spotted using hit using SNS dot heat map that is C1 library. So this is the heat map. So as you can see that our train and test data are balanced, so our model is predicting also most classification methods. So this is a great data set for predicting mushroom classification that they are poisonous or edible. So I have plotted pie chart and Bar chart to visualize the data that they are part using C1 and not part of it. So, feature engineering is also done to this level of encoding. So, that's a fully done this project. It was a great experience for me.